Hey everyone, happy new year. So it's time for mailbag. Dude, you have sacrificed your workbench for an office, remember? He's actually right, you know. I had to sacrifice my workbench. So let's make something. And le voila, now I have a workbench. Actually, it's a portable one, so it will be useful for other things like repairing stuff around the house and stuff like that. Want me to show you what I've done there? Yeah, let's see it. So, here is this uh, mobile repair station I've made, because uh, I would rather call it a repair station, not a workbench because yeah as you can see it is small it be, it is based on this grating this is uh, i think osb or more like plywood it is coated so i can't really tell without cutting into it but uh, this gray coating is really cool looking I really like it, but of course for soldering I have added this silicone pad. And as you can see it has everything that is basically needed to move this around. I mean uh, it's not complete yet. I decided to not complete it but start using it and then uh, extend it based on my experience. So I've added these two trays for like small screws or parts or something like that and these light holders they are also screwed to it and then this junction box because uh, these LED lights are powered by mains voltage and they are actually pretty bright together they are over 2000 lumens so it's pretty good to light anything here and as you can see they barely cast a minimal shadow yeah there is shadow but not that much because of the light coming from two different directions and also a lot of LEDs on that panel I think 36 LEDs on each panels and uh, also as you can see I have this camera here if you're a returning visitor of the channel, you might be familiar with this. This was my microphone boom stand. But then I decided that because I'm using this new mic now, I don't need this boom stand. But I 3D printed this adapter. And now I can just have it moving around with the camera. And let me turn this thing on. So here we go, as you can see, these older Sony camcorders can provide quite a zoom. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's wiggling. So I still have to solve this problem. You can see it's slightly moving and it's keep, it keeps moving. And of course, the more I zoom in, the more problem I get with the moving so I still need to figure this out but for soldering and to record a video about soldering and uh, to actually forward this video right to my main display here nearby this camera is quite useful I'm thinking about uh, creating a mount for the camera so I can attach it to the workbench and move it together with the workbench because by default it has no cables at all so it could be easily moved together with the workbench also the concept was that this whole thing has to be super light so I used real light materials I mean aluminium then um, these LED panels they are really light. I try to reuse these LED lights 
these were above my desk or my workbench when it was an actual workbench you could see this in the previous videos in my older videos but unfortunately this is really heavy because it has a huge heatsink mounted on the back of the LED panel so this is like 800 grams or something like that so too heavy these are like I don't know not even 100 gram but the problem is that they don't have don't have a heatsink so this is getting really hot and I don't really like the idea of having that wiring there actually there's a piece of uh, invisible or <laughs> actually transparent um, plastic here but I still don't like the idea especially because there's plastic and there's a hot metal surface what could possibly go wrong right so these LED panels might not be the final ones and this whole workbench is an experiment so I'm not providing a step-by-step -step tutorial or something like that but instead I'm just uh, showing you the idea because I think the idea itself is pretty great a movable repair station or workbench even though a minimalistic one but uh, for the future I will keep experimenting with it I will add more 3d printed containers like here and here and maybe here here I assume you got the idea all right so I made that thing so I can get back to electronics and the next time I upload the video we will open those mails until then I hope to see you next time and if you enjoyed this video or enjoy my content please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps me a lot and of course it will mean that you will get notified firsthand when a new video arises. See you next time. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.